<laughs> Thank you for bringing in the crowd. <laughs> Hello, Sussex Squad fam. Welcome back to Royal Telly. Kenneth here, and today we're diving into a story that transcends headlines and genetics. We're exploring the heartwarming bond between Prince Harry, his mother's side of the family, the Spencers, and a very special event, the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games. If you're new here, kindly consider subscribing to our channel so that you don't miss our future videos. Thank you, Squaddies. Remember Prince Harry's charming appearance on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert last year? With a playful wink, he acknowledged the very strong Spencer gene, crediting it for his children, Archie and Lilibet's beautiful red hair, a clear reminder of their beloved grandmother, Princess Diana. Do you see your mother or your grandparents in any of your children? Uh, definitely my mum. Um, the ginger gene is a strong one. Look at that. <laughs> Both of them. The, spen Both of the, them spen are the Spencer gene is very, very strong. I actually really genuinely thought at the beginning of my relationship that should this go the distance, uh, and then we have kids, that there's no way the ginger gene will stand up to my wife's genes, but I was wrong. <laughs> but this light-hearted moment goes deeper than just physical resemblance. It highlights the strong connection between Harry and his mother's family, the Spencers. As many of you know, the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games coincided with a period of simmering tensions between Prince Harry and the royal family. This added a layer of complexity to the event. However, Amidst these challenges, a beautiful display of family support unfolded. At the special service held at St. Paul's Cathedral, cameras captured a touching moment. Prince Harry was warmly embraced by his uncle, Earl Spencer, and his aunt, Lady Jane Fellows. The genuine smiles and affection were a powerful image of unwavering support, particularly in light of the ongoing tensions with the Windsors. This reunion wasn't just a public display, it signified the deep and consistent support the Spencer family has offered Harry throughout his life. This unwavering support is even documented in Harry's autobiography, Spare. Both Earl Spencer and Lady Jane Fellows received special mentions, highlighting their significant role in Harry's life. We can delve deeper here. Perhaps there are specific anecdotes from the book that showcase the Spencer's unwavering support during Harry's childhood or during his decision to step back from royal duties. Lady Jane Fellows, in particular, has forged a profound bond with Harry. This was evident at his wedding to Meghan Markle in 2018. The trust and respect were clear as Lady Jane delivered a heartfelt speech at the ceremony. This special connection extended beyond the wedding. Lady Jane was even entrusted with meeting their firstborn Archie before Prince William. Meghan, deeply touched by this gesture, spoke of feeling a connection to Diana through Lady Jane. This act, perhaps, symbolised a bridge between Harry, Meghan and Diana's memory. Since stepping back from royal duties and moving to the US, Harry has continued to cultivate his relationship with the Spencers. In 2022, during their visit to the UK for Queen Elizabeth's funeral, Harry and Meghan made a special trip to Althorpe, Princess Diana's childhood home. There, they spent cherished time with Earl Spencer and Lady Jane, reminiscing about Diana and strengthening their family bond. They also paid their respects at Diana's final resting place, signifying the importance of honouring their family history. The warmth extends beyond the immediate family. Reports suggest that Diana's sisters, Lady Jane and Lady Sarah McCorkadale, were also present at Lilibet's christening in March 2023. Additionally, other members of Harry's extended family, including his cousins George McCorkadale, Ned Spencer and Louis Spencer, Viscount Althorpe, were present at the Invictus Games service. This unified presence showcased the strong support network Harry has within the Spencer family. Looking beyond blood ties, there's another significant aspect to this story. The Spencers, like Harry, are known for their dedication to humanitarian causes. Earl Spencer, for instance, is a patron of several charities. This shared passion for making a positive impact likely strengthens their bond. Harry's commitment to the Invictus Games, an event that empowers injured veterans and servicemen and women, resonates deeply with the Spencer family's values. 
Perhaps there are specific charitable endeavours the Spencers are involved in that align with the Invictus Games mission. Highlighting these connections can further solidify the idea of a shared legacy focused on service. This strengthens the bond between Harry and the Spencers and makes the display of support at the Invictus Games even more meaningful. In a world that often focuses on royal tensions and media scrutiny, the unwavering support Harry receives from the Spencers is a beacon of hope. It reminds us of the enduring power of family, especially during challenging times. It's a testament to the fact that love and loyalty can transcend distance and circumstance. Perhaps you can share a personal story or anecdote from viewers who have experienced similar unwavering family support, further connecting with your audience. Thank you for joining us today on Royal Telly. We hope this heartwarming story about Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, Spencer family and the Invictus Games resonated with you. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment below sharing your thoughts and experiences with family support, and subscribe to our channel for more content celebrating the amazing work of the Sussexes.